Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is a tutorial about defining or using your brick walls, your siding walls, and separating that from the interior walls. So I'm going to use a simple example to show you that. Uh, first thing we can do is we can click on a wall and then right click and choose select all in view or select all instances in the visible view. And then we can choose a brick on stud wall. So I'm going to go click on this. I'm going to go look for a brick on metal stud exterior. So now all those walls are now brick walls. But notice there's some problems. The back of our house is also brick wall and the interior walls. Let's go look at the 3D view. Are also brick walls. I guess it would be easier to see like this. So you can see that the interior also has brick walls. So I'm going to real quickly fix some of this. They're all unconnected, which means they're 20 feet tall. We're going to take that to level two. Now that looks better. Okay. So let's go back to the floor plan. First things first, we want to change this wall and this wall to siding. So we're going to hold down the control key and click on both of those walls. And I'm going to choose the siding that I made, exterior siding. And you can see those are now different. Now the problem comes in right here. If I click on this wall, it's going to go all the way through and choose both the front and the back of the house. So I need to split this here and here. So let's see if we can figure that out. So I'm going to zoom in on one of these junctions and we're going to choose modify and split. And we want it to be split right there. It wasn't quite what I wanted. Try it again. Split it right there. Okay. Now we can go choose modify, click this wall, change it to siding and now it shrank easily we're going to do the same thing over here split zoom in i'm looking for that little line to appear really close to the wall right there that's the one i want choose modify choose this wall again and choose siding so now if we go look at the 3d view we see that this back wall is siding and that's brick. Problem is it's also siding on the interior. And we also have brick on the inside here. So let's go split these walls here so that we can make them normal interior walls. So using that split tool, we're gonna go around the interior. So I'm gonna zoom in on this junction split here and split here and that's going to separate that siding wall and the brick wall from that corner if this is a little bit sloppy i'm not going to make a big deal out of it it's hard to get this exactly perfect split that one and that one i'll also need to do the same thing up here so what I've done is I've gone ahead and cut these walls as well, split that. So now I should be able to make some changes. So if I just go around and choose this interior wall, now we're going to use the one that we're using on the inside. Let's use a five inch gen generic and I can choose that one as well. Five inch generic and this one, five inch generic. For my interior walls and five inch generic so to review what we did is we made all the walls exterior and then we made the back walls siding then we split the interior walls from the exterior walls and changed those to interior walls let's take a look at the 3d view and you'll see that we have different color walls on the interior and then the exterior so that should be enough for this.